Hi everyone! In today's video we are going to be discussing this product. I figured that we are going to do a new series called Product Spotlight where I talk about just one product and I do like a deep dive, I hate that saying, but I just used it. Anyway, so I will be talking about how the product looks, how it smells, how it feels, how it applies to the application, the drying time, the wear time as well, and overall performance. Does it work? Does it do what it says it's supposed to do? And I'm also going to talk about ingredients. And now I'm not a chemist, obviously, but I read up on the ingredients and we can check out to see if they kind of match up with the claims. And at the end of the video, you will see four day wear test. Okay, so this is Catrice Nail Repair. I guess this is like a line of products and this is the Strengthening Ridge Filler with glycolic acid and yatsu seed oil. Spoiler alert, I like this stuff. Yeah, yeah, it's nice. Yeah. All right, so Catrice impresses me, I have to say. I really like their bottles, I like their, um, I like the, the, the products. They're mm -hmm. available, I think they're, listen to this, they are European brand. And the reason why I say it's European because it's made in a few different countries. This one is made in France, for example. This is our next, in Poland, uh, this is made in Poland, so. Yep. All right, so the brushes, the lid comes off, which is great. It's easier to hold this little, um, like a ribbed, what is it called? Lid? Lid, I guess. And the brushes are very, very good. Mm -hmm. They're very well cut. They have this really good shape. They're pretty flat. It's a decent cut brush. It's a decent yeah. cut brush. Yep. Okay, so this rich filler. Mm -hmm. It says nail repair strength ridge filler. And it says it strengthens nails and smooths ridges. That's it. And I'm just curious about what those two glycolic acids are supposed to do. Mm -hmm. But we'll talk about it when I talk about the ingredients. Okay, let's let's see how the product look, looks. Uh, because it's a ridge filler, usually ridge fillers have like little particles that are a little floating. So make sure that you mix the ridge filler really well just so the product gets the, the little um, ingredients that are filling the little valleys in your nails are distributed properly through the nail polish. We did a manicure already and um, I wiped the nails with alcohol, with 99% isopropyl alcohol. So let's see how this looks. It has like this kind of a beigey, natural, they call it a pinkish, but I don't see, this is not a pink color. So I'm going to use a thin coat to show you how this looks. It applies very well. But I find with rich fillers, they really need two coats in order to, to smooth the surface. And I really don't think that anyone is going to really fill the ridge or the little valleys, the ridges or the valleys. But it does improve the the smoothness of the nail. I usually suggest, well, always suggest, drying in between coats. You're gonna have better results when you dry in between coats. So on one nail, because we did this last week, that's why we have the four day wear time, mm -hmm. wear test. We did two coats on all of the nails except for the pinky. So we are now going to dry this. Mm -hmm. This is still quite tacky. You can see that the texture of the polish changes when the polish is drying because the polish, majority of the, what's inside the polish are solvents and solvents have to evaporate, leaving behind a thin film. So, the solvents need to evaporate before this this dries completely. So let's count. I would say it might take like two minutes to dry. Okay, so two minutes later, later we'll see how this looks. Yeah, this is dry. Yep. It has a slight texture, just like the the SE um, smoothie has. Mm -hmm. A little bit. It's more shiny, definitely, because the SE is is uh, matte, dries matte. So let's do a second coat. Oops. 
So this one I'm going to float on a little bit. So you'll see that the bristles are not spreading as much. And I have to say it has a very, very nice non-streaky look. And I'm not wrapping the free edge just because the nails are quite short and I really don't think that it's necessary. I have to say, I really like the way this looks. It looks very nice and clean. It's almost like that kind of look, your nails, but better, right? Yeah. So we can see definitely with two coats. Mind you, these ones are still wet, how this is not as shiny and not as smooth. But we are also going to show you how this looks in an hour. So how the polish looks when the majority of the solvents evaporate and then we're going to show you 24 hours later how this looks and then four days okay so this is immediately after application and this is an hour later Okay, so this is a four day follow up. And this is how the nails look. Actually, I'm quite pleased, I have to say. They're not super, super shiny. There is some texture definitely still um, visible, but they are smoother. Compared to the other base, they do have more of a, I don't know what's happening with the lighting here. They, they do have a bit of a, like a milky look, which is very nice. And there is some tip wear on this nail, but other than that, it lasted really, really well. I know it's only four days, but we have other things to do, so we have to take it off. But I think That'd it's be pretty from good. Guitar, I think. Ah, okay, okay, there we go. Alrighty, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you soon. Bye. Okay, so this is a full list of the ingredients and a quick explanation what they actually do. So this is pretty standard formula. I don't see anything really different about it as the first few ingredients. So normally when it comes to formulas, you have the ingredients that are the prevalent ingredients first, and then you have the ones that are in the, the least amount in the, on the bottom. So now, the first ingredient is butyl acetate, which is a solvent that improves application and flow. It adjusts the product thickness. After the polish is applied, and I'm just explaining how the solvents work, the solvent evaporates, leaving behind the remaining ingredients to coat and color the nail plate. The second ingredient is ethyl acetate, which is also solvent. Nitrocellulose is a pretty much an every nail polish, and it's a film-forming agent, so that's what actually is left behind on the nail after this, the solvents evaporate. The fourth ingredient is acetyl tributyl citrate. And from now on, I'm not going to try to pronounce the <laughs> ingredients. So it's a plasticizer for film formers because the uh, film forming ingredients like nitrocellulose by itself, it's very, it's very brittle. So they have to add something that makes it a little bit more flexible. Okay, the next, the fifth ingredient is very, very long one, and I'm not going to pronounce it and it's a synthetic polymer and resins make a film adhere to the nail plates. Resins are ingredients that add depth, gloss, and hardness to the film of nail polish. The sixth ingredient is isopropyl alcohol, a solvent that helps prevent a possible explosion of nitrocellulose during shipment and storage, believe it or not. Actually, Vivian Valente was talking about it recently as well. And another ingredient is sterilaconium, sterilaconium bentonite, and that is a thickening agent that controls flow during application and it helps prevent rapid settling of pigments because the pigments are heavier, so they're gonna they're going to drop to the bottom. So you have something in the polish that makes it a little bit thicker, so everything does not immediately drop to the bottom. Caprylic capric triglyceride, and that's a dispersing agent. Dispersing agents are parts of any chemical or organic compound that holds the ingredients together and stabilizes them. Mixing other active ingredients, pigments, or scents 
in a good dispersing agent keeps the ingredients from clumping together, from clumping together or sinking to the bottom of the mixture. The waxy and thick consistency of caprylic triglyceride makes them an excellent dispersing agent. Now the next one is acrylic copolymer and that's a viscosity controlling and then diacetone alcohol. It's another solvent. Silica, viscosity controlling and thickening agent. So I think this is where, this is a rich filler. So it has silica, so it has these little particles that are supposed to like flow to the bottom of the little valleys to fill in the the, um, the texture of the nail. And lowers the gloss of the nail polish, yes. So those usually will have less of a gloss. Next ingredient is n bottle alcohol, butanol which is a solvent and smells like wine apparently. And another ingredient that I cannot pronounce is a plasticizer that is used in nail polish instead of the DBP that they have removed for a while now. Another ingredient is water, our common H2O. And then we have this ingredient that's called citrus Junos seed oil. And I looked, looked it up on the internet and I can't find any information how that would be beneficial for the nails. I mean, any oils are very good for the nails, but in larger amounts, right? Like, I don't know how much of that is actually in the product, considering that it shows up after the water. I think it's a very small amount, and I couldn't find anything like very different about this product when it comes to nail products. So another ingredient is polyvinyl batterol, which is a film forming ingredient. And then we have glycolic acid, which is exfoliant. It's alpha hydroxy acid, which I really don't understand why Alpha hydroxy acid would be, but maybe it's uh, maybe it's like a moisturizer, but I don't know. Uh, another one is gluconoactone, which I didn't know this ingredient. It's a polyhydroxy acid, PHA, that is often referred as a next generation alpha hydroxy acid. And turns out I had to look it up and it's a close relative to famous alpha hydroxy, both in terms of chemical structure and a similar effects on the skin. So this is about skin. They're often marketed as a new generation of alpha hydroxy acids. The main promise with that ingredient is that it is less irritating to the skin. So it has less irritation compared to alpha hydroxy acid, but it's very similar benefits. But this is all about skin, nothing to do with nails. And you know what I think, and I, I can't remember who, which was the chemist that I was, who was the chemist that I was talking to, but very often these little ingredients, like these ingredients are kind of marketing ingredients. So I even wonder if they actually are in the formula because they just sound really, really good. They, they are often very exotic sounding and people think that they just have some very wonderful qualities to them. And again, I'm not trying to, I don't know enough about those products, about those ingredients. If you guys know more and if you uh, can point me out to some research behind these products, I would really, really appreciate it. I honestly have a very open mind. It's just that I couldn't find anything, but maybe I don't know where to look for it. But anyway, so then it has also so raspberry leaf extract and that's I read that it has some good effects for pregnant women something to do with making the uterus stronger or something before birth but again that's drank as a tea not put 0.0 percent on the nail in the plastic so I don't know Another ingredient is etocrylene, which is a UV absorber, and then phosphoric acid, which is buffering and regulates the pH, and it's a food additive as well to make the food taste more acidic. Next is sorbic acid, which is preservative, and three different colorants, oxides, iron oxides, and titanium dioxide. Titanium dioxide is a mineral pigment that sometimes that looks, gives you that white look to the, uh, to the product and creamy look. And if you are interested in um, in a lot of these ingredients, you can um, obviously Google them. And I also use the decode INCI to find some of the information about these ingredients. So looking at these ingredients and looking at the claims, so the claim says nail repair strength. I'm just curious what repairs the nail in this product and what adds strength. Very often when they talk about strength is they can say that because putting any coating on the nail will make it stronger, but it's not really strengthening the nail, right? So. I don't know how I kind of feel about it because in, if we kind of think about it that way, then any absolutely any nail polish, even like the dollar cheap one, 50 cent one is going to 
is going to be a strengthening nail polish. So I'm very curious what you guys think about these ingredients and what you think about the product, if you have used it and if you, what your experience is with the product. Okay, and this is it about the ingredients. We are going to cover more products in the same format. Let us know if you are interested and let us know if you like these type of videos. I find them personally very interesting. I like to kind of dig up information about the products and share that information with you. So if you're interested, that would be super, super, I would be very happy about that. Please let us know in the comment section. So it lasted really, really well. I have to say there could be a little bit of a wear on the free edge, but there was not any peeling or anything like that. There is some peeling at the cuticle. So, okay, but just these two nails. Sometimes when the product is applied a little bit close to the skin, that's what happens. This is exactly what happens. This one and this one is fine. This one is also very good. Very good, very good. Alrighty guys, this is it for this product spotlight video for today. Please let us know what you think about this product in the comment section and thank you so much for watching. We'll see you soon, bye. And a very quick bonus information. So one coat of this base coat dried in about two minutes when applying the polish on 10 fingers. And I found two coats with the second coat being a little bit thicker floating it a little bit it took like five six minutes i would say to to dry it so uh, it's not super super quick drying but i would say it's decent and on this nail you can see i have two coats of this polish and on this hand i have one okay thank you so much guys for watching see you soon bye